went smooth. It was really fun. Wait, they don't know how you did it. We want all the details. Yeah. <laughs> Start from when you woke up, please. Uh, <laughs> woke up at 4, 4.30. Good morning. What time is it? Well, now it's 5, but it was 4.30 when I got up. Nina, introduce me. Robert. Who is that? Robert. How are we doing today, Robert? Excellent. Yeah. Can't wait for this to get going and get this Catalina. No problem. Yes, sir. Oh. Show me where we're going. Morning. Yeah. Out here, Catalina. Avalon, we're walking over to the dive spot. We're just going to work on buoyancy control to try and stay up off the bottom. Okay. You can see what kind of cool stuff we're going to find. Sweet. Side. You like my shovel? No. Ooh, where did that Same side. Uh, I Why keep it in case I find something. Huh? So I dig it up. Well, nice. Good. Never know. Never know. Sure. Little red red <laughs> After the first dive, I was like this is not gonna go well whatsoever. All we did was find a spot, and I'm like, next dive, I'm gonna have to go down and bury this with an X that marks the spot. I'm just gonna be in so much pain, and as I walk over in all my heavy scuba gear, I notice Nina digging through my bag. So I kind of barked at her, I was like, hey, what are you doing in my bag? And she's like, I'm just looking for snacks. And I'm like, I'll get the snacks for us. The ring was in there, and the treasure chest was in there, all above the snacks. He walked up at the perfect time, because I was about to take everything out of the bag. That was the first dive. Amazing. Are you finding any buried treasure? I had to figure out a way to get all the gear that I needed to the water and bury it and get it all set up without her knowing. So the other master diver takes Nina with this compass off to the side and is just having her walk around in all these weird shapes. I just kind of was like, hey Nina, like we're hopping in right now, like we'll catch up later or whatever. We hopped in the water real quick, went on over to the other spot. So I actually went down and equalized way faster than I did the first time. And once I got down there, it was game time. And so I basically told him, I'm like, hey, I need you to dig the hole. And so he's down there, he's just digging. And I had to open up the chest and I had to position the weight, put the cards in the front, and I took the ring box out, put that in my other pocket, and I needed to get the shovels so that I could hand it to her. We got the chest in and then we buried it. Gave him the okay, so we popped up. Right as we popped up, Nina and Robert were walking down the stairs. Everything was all set. We were ready to do the proposal. Her mouth is gonna put with tears. Exactly. <laughs> this, we started to go down. I was like, okay, this is happening. We went under as soon as we touched the bottom. Robert kind of signaled in a direction and had me start swimming with my compass as my underwater navigation skill. And so I get to the bottom and Robert's just kind of like looking at me like, what do we do? And I'm like, I'm jerking back. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know where the X is. Like, Justin's the one that found it and knows where it's at. And he kind of pointed over to where Nina was and I look over and I'm like, oh, like, Maybe he wants us to swim over there. As I'm swimming over, I notice that she's right at the X. And so she's with Justin, and she's just sitting there looking at Justin, like, not knowing what to do. And so I'm like, 
game time. And then all of a sudden I see everyone else swim over to us. Now is my moment to shine. I immediately come up and I'm like, I'm like grabbing her, I'm like tapping on you, and I'm like trying to show you the axe, I'm like, we found buried treasure. I was and like, so then start I, digging, and I gave her the shovel. Oh, Jay's trying to take a GoPro video, because like he's filming, so I'll dig and pretend. Did you even realize it was an axe? No, not at all. Uh, sorry. So sad, I'm just like stabbing around, like pretend digging, and then he kind of moves some more things, and then I realized like, oh, there's actually something buried down there. So then I started going really fast, because I was really curious. So as soon as like I figured out there was actually something, I, all the like little treasure things came back, and I was like, treasure, buried treasure, digging for it. Whoa. Okay. And then I was like, is he proposing? I was like out like pulling out the notes, and she's already opening the chest, and I'm like, no. And so I slammed the chest closed. I don't want her to see it, like it says that like, will you marry me? And so I like give her the first note, and she like grabs it and gives it right back to me. And I take it and I'm like, no, like read it and I like, give it back to you. I'm like, read the card. Well, I already did read it. The first time he handed it to me, I read it and then I handed it back. These are very, very heartfelt words. I wanted her to read it in my voice, in <laughs> slow motion. I wanted to see the tears in her goggles. And then I handed her the second one. But the second one was like, Nina, you're my treasure. Like God has given you my heart. At this point she should know. And she did the same thing where she just kind of like gave it right back to me. He handed me the note and I was like, okay, this seems like a proposal. And then he handed me the other one and I was like, okay. And then I was like, treasure chest, okay, like let's, let me see. She like, finally, finally clicked and she was ready. And it said on the inside, will you marry me? And then there was a yes and a no. So I ripped the yes out of the box <laughs> and held it up and showed him. And as I was showing him, he pulled out the ring and held it up underwater. He was down on one knee. So he put it on my finger and we like took a few pictures and I was just staring at it like, oh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I managed to get the fake ring on her finger and it was like, yay! And like we took it. Took a picture and she did her nice little this thing. And then Robert just took off swimming and so I was like, okay, I guess we're following. I was just in shock from the whole thing. My glove was back on so I couldn't see my ring. So I was like, did that just happen? It was all imaginary. So then Robert pulled out the pee. The, the pee? <laughs> the water bottle. You pee the bottle? <laughs> yeah. The water bottle's full of frozen peas. So we started shaking them and we were just swarmed by fish. And then right after we fed the fish, then it was time to get out, so we swam. So kind of in shock about what's going on, kind of forgot about the proposal at this point. Just we're trying to survive and not get thrashed against the stairs. <laughs> I want to marry you. <laughs> <laughs> Took her fins and helped her stand up and we kind of walked up the stairs. cameras and pictures and videos going and we're asking to see the ring and everything. Yes, yes. <laughs> and one more time. Take that away. Amazing. Take that away. Oh, that's so cute to yes. <laughs> Everyone was asking to see the ring and that's when he confessed. The funny thing is, that's only $15 off Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> the real one's in my bag. <laughs> So then we went over and he's like, let's get over there and we'll get the real one. How does it feel to be engaged? <laughs> it feels wild. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I feel so happy. I'm glad that's over. <laughs> yeah. That had me so stressed out. Oh. I'm I'm certified. I got like engaged. <laughs> <laughs> Said the fish. <laughs> Sorry, I just need to find the real ring. I know you don't like red boxes, but... <laughs> they kind of followed us up onto this ledge overlooking the harbor of Avalon. 
kind of scary, but I was so focused in on Nina that I, I could really care less. Okay. I dropped the knee from there and put the ring on her finger. It was super sweet. It was a beautiful moment to actually be able to see her face and her emotion before putting the ring on. Hey, I want to love you for the rest of my life. Jesus said, follow me, and I'm going to ask the same of you. Will you marry me? <laughs> the first proposal was just total shock and surprise, and then the second one felt it had sunken in a little bit, and I just was able to enjoy it and really feel all the good yeah. feelings. I love it so much. <laughs> <laughs> She had her nails done. I had my nails done. Thanks, Anna. I was like, I might as well get one that looks exactly like it. Yeah, that looks great. Congratulations. Thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> what are your thoughts? That I'm engaged. You keep doing that. Because? because I love it. It feels like I'm in a dream. Like I look down and it feels so fake. It's not reality. But then it is. And then I get to keep this forever. And that's so cool. This is the best day ever. This is the best day ever. Oh my gosh. Did you see my ring? Huh? I said, did you see my ring? <laughs> Not yet. You gotta show me. <laughs> what you doing, Nene? Sending pictures and texting my family. Yeah? What are yeah. you texting them about? That I am the game. Dude, that I am me. <laughs> So a big thank you to all you guys that are not only watching this video, but that were at the engagement party as well and that fight for us in our relationship. I want this video to inspire you guys and not to uh, intimidate you into trying to one-up my proposal or whatever. Um, this was all done for Nina. She is so special to me and I wanted to reflect the adventurous nature of our relationship and our proposal and show her what a life with me would look like in terms of our relationship going forward from here. And none of it would have been able to happen without all you guys. For the scuba team, the SC dive team, thank you guys so much for allowing me to join the dive and um, helping me kind of facilitate this whole surprise and be inspired by our story. Let this mark the next chapter of our lives together of JX Nina. Yeah, thanks everyone. Yeah. I love you so much. I love you too. Thanks for watching and for listening. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.